as we talk about him, we show images on screen which you can't look at, your heart rate is going up. So it seems funny, but it's really very, very serious to you. Yeah. He's just so, just so frightening. It's when he looks, I just can't watch him. He's just like, he, he looks, to, looks at me like I'm coming to get you. That's what I get this feeling of. And I could see when that was playing, just even the mention of his name, you were physically shaking as well. Yeah, it's, I can't hear his, I can't listen to his voice, and if I see his pictures in a magazine, newspaper, mm -hmm. that's so it. Because you can't fake this, though, that's no. what we're trying to say. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely not, and it's a really good example of, of any phobia, really, because people can have the most bizarre phobias to something that someone would go and just make fun of. Mm. But it is really serious, and you've actually been prescribed medication for it, haven't yes. you? Yeah. And why do you think, uh, particularly Simon Cowell or, or somebody that you don't know, it's just a person on the There's television? There's got to be some sort of an association. And I mean, we, we literally haven't spent any time at all with Michelle yet. So that's something that we're looking to find out. I mean, how long have you had this? Ten years. So it started ten years ago. Was there yes. anything significant happening in your life then? Um, before that, my father passed and that, which I was a bit upset and that. So I was given medication for that, for a bit of anxiety as well. I was anxious and things. Um, and then when I started watching The X Factor, it just sort of like, it, when I saw him, it just like Did took over me. It just like the eyes, he came out with that twing and it just like frightened the life out of me. So, and you, just, you do get an anxiety attack? I get an anxiety yeah, attack, I mean, it's, shakiness. It's, it's really sad because like Nick said, it's, so many people find phobia is amusing and um, but I mean this is very real for you and I mean I can see that you do look so very very distressed yeah. but Michelle if you were if you were to meet him and having met him he's not that bad in real life is he? <laughs> he's very nice he's yeah. very yeah. very nice actually as it turns out um, do you think that would diffuse it do you think that um, would help? if I could meet him I was hoping it would cure me fear you know like conquer it but I'm in two minds, will it or won't it, you know, and I don't mm. want to have the attack in front of him, you know, because I don't think it's a nice course, thing to... And that's where these guys come in, because although that's what I'm saying in a very simplistic way, there's an in-between stage, obviously, isn't there? But, that you have, what, what, what's your task now today, Nick? Well, basically, if you imagine the, what, what Michelle's created is an association between Simon Cowell and anxiety, and, and it's a, an incorrect association. But these things happen to us all the time. It's like when, you know, you can listen to a piece of music and it will take you to a party, a good time, or it'll take mm -hmm. you to a funeral, mm -hmm. which is a bad time. And those things affect our emotions. So she's created this neuro association between Simon Cowell and anxiety, but essentially well, it wasn't Simon Cowell that caused the anxiety, which, and we need to find out what it was that caused it and Michelle, break that. We're just saying, just talking about him, you've got your heart rate monitor on, you've got Nick and Eva there to, to hold your hand. I'm just going to show you some pictures, OK? Because we, we're trying to try and kind of get you there slowly. Yeah, and it's also good for a before and after, but... Yeah, so if I just show you a picture of him, so this is not on... What is so bad about what What's you're that making you feel is... like? It's... It's just, it's just say... Well, I'll stop now. I'll yeah. stop now. I don't, but that, we just we just want to prove to people because, as Eamon said, people have had quite a laugh with this in the papers and things. And it sure. does sound quite ridiculous, but you can see there that's very very real. Um, what are you going to do now when we take when you take Michelle off? We've got to find out exactly what was going on at the point because it's our view that she's had a traumatic experience of some sort. And, and Sam Cow's been on the TV and she's linked that experience to Simon incorrectly yeah. because he's done nothing wrong. You know, and he said he's a nice guy. So we need to find out what it is and then break that association okay. and, and recondition it and change it. I'm going to try and make her his biggest fan. 